This series of videos is sponsored by the Rex Technology. Rex provides the high quality modules to assist the customers and in entering the target market very fast. This is my first getting started tutorial on the Rex RYLR890 transceiver module feature the LoRa long range modem that provides ultra long range spread spectrum communication and high interference immunity while minimizing current consumption. As usual, before making any advanced level projects, first I'm going to cover the extreme basics. In this episode, you will learn how to connect the Rex RYLR890 or RYLR896 LoRa transceiver module with the Arduino without using any converter and how to use the basic AD commands using the Arduino's serial monitor. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the long range wireless 915 MHz radio frequency LoRa transceiver modules by the Rex technology. The amazing thing about these modules is that we can change the frequency using the AD commands, which I will explain in a few minutes. These modules are designed for the long range communication up to 15 kilometers. LoRa transceiver modules can be used in IoT applications, mobile equipments, home security systems, industrial monitoring and control equipment, car alarm system, robotics, sensor monitoring and so on. This transceiver module has the processor which communicates with the Arduino through the serial communication. So the exchange of data between the RYLR890 and a microcontroller is controlled by the processor. Now let's open the data sheet and have a look at the specifications. The minimum voltage is 2.8 volts. The typical voltage is 3.3 volts and the maximum voltage is 3.6 volts. Using Arduino, I can easily power up these transceiver modules using 3.3 volts. Minimum frequency range is 820 MHz. Typical frequency range is from 868 to 915 MHz. Maximum frequency range can be up to 1020 MHz. Typical range is 4.5 kilometers. Maximum range is 15 kilometers. Transmit current. Typical value is 43 milliamps. Receive current. Typical value is 16.5 milliamps. As you can see, this transceiver module has a total of six pins, which are clearly labeled as VDD, NRST, which is the reset pin active low, RXD, TXD, Pin number 5 is not used while pin number 6 is the ground. As you know Arduino is based on the 5 volt controller while the LoRa transceiver module by the Rex technology can handle voltages from 2.8 to maximum 3.6 volts. The typical voltage is 3.3 volts as explained earlier. From this information we know that this module cannot be directly interfaced with the Arduino for this, we need some kind of converter which can convert 5 volts into 3.3 volts. But instead of using the converter, we can use a simple voltage divider circuit. As you can see, 4.7K and 10K resistors are connected in series, which gives me 3.4 volts, which is perfect for the Rex LoRa transceiver module. A wire from the middle of the resistors is connected with the RXD pin of the module. The other leg of the 10K resistor is connected with the ground, while the other leg of the 4.7K resistor is connected with the TX of the Arduino. The RX pin of the Arduino is connected with the TXT pin of the LoRa module. The ground of the LoRa module is connected with the ground of the Arduino. I'll be using the same connections in all of my LoRa based projects. I have already designed a PCB for the LoRa module which I will use in my upcoming tutorials. For the AD commands change these two wires. Connect TXT with TX and RXT with the RX of the Arduino. As you can see 
the connections are done as per the circuit diagram. As I explained for implementing the AD commands, simply connect the TX of the Arduino with the TXT of the LoRa module and connect the RX of the Arduino with the RXT of the LoRa module. After implementing the AD commands, again you can interchange the TX and RX wires. Now let's open a PDF file which consists of the basic AD commands. As you can see, this PDF file consists of all the LoRa AD commands with detailed explanation. You can download this file from our website. You can find link in the description. Now let's implement some of the AD commands. I'm not changing any parameters. For this series of videos, I prefer to go with factory default settings. But I will explain how to change the default value. While everything is wired up as per the connection diagram and Arduino is connected with the laptop, upload this simple sketch and make sure you remove the TX and RX pins while you are uploading the sketch. After the sketch is uploaded, then you can again connect the TX and RX pins. Open the serial monitor. Select the baud rate and make sure both NL and CR are selected. Let's start with the AD command itself. OK means it's working and we can go ahead. Let's find the default address of this module. For this we use the command AD plus address followed by the question mark. As you can see, the default address is 0. You can change this address by typing the command followed by the equal sign and a number. As you can see, the number is changed from 0 to 1. Let me change this back to 0. Now let's check the network ID. For this we use a command AD plus network ID and followed by the question mark. As you can see the network default ID is 0, which we can change the same way as we did for the address. Using the AD plus band command we can set the frequencies of both the LoRa modules. The transmitter and receiver are required to use the same frequency to communicate with each other. I'm not going to change the frequency, but let's check the default frequency. Type the command and press enter. As you can see, currently it's set to 915 MHz. Similarly, you can use all the AD commands. The AD plus send command is used to send data from one module to another module. I will explain this command in my next video, in which we will be sending the sensors data wirelessly from transmitter to the receiver module. That's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.